What is up you guys, Stacey Irvin Jr. here. Today is Memorial Day in the United States and I wanted to remind us all about the price of freedom, both as a country and personally, what that means for us individually. You know, our soldiers have paid for our freedoms with the ultimate sacrifice, with their lives. And we should be grateful for that, not just today, but every day. And keep that as a reminder to make sure that we're honoring their sacrifice with the sacrifices that we can make, right? As a country, our freedoms have been paid for with their blood, with their sweat, their tears, their sacrifices, and the sacrifices that their families have made also. Personally, what I want you to remember is that your freedom individually comes from your ability to remain disciplined. What does that mean? I mean, you're honoring your freedom, your ability to be free with your discipline. Freedom without any type of structure or discipline is anarchy, right? It's just chaos. So in your own personal life, what you need to remember is that your discipline enables and honors your own freedom. You can honor your freedom by being disciplined in your thoughts, which will help you be disciplined in the words that you speak and being disciplined in the actions you take. Why does that matter? Because when you increase your ability to self-regulate and remain disciplined in your thoughts, words, and actions, you enable yourself the ability to create your life more effectively, more efficiently, and just better overall for everyone who's involved with you. So again, remembering that your level of freedom is directly, directly affected and, and created by your ability to remain self-disciplined. Okay, you increase your, your freedom through discipline. If you feel like you don't have enough time in your day to get something done, chances are that you just don't have the level of discipline to create the structure in which you need to operate in order to have more time. It's prioritization. How do you prioritize? Well, you become disciplined in sorting those priorities into your time, right? And when you have that established, when you have that when you have that structure established, you're free within those constraints to do whatever you need to get done in that track, right? Discipline increases your freedom. Think about it. When you blocked off time to get something done, say you're, you're cleaning the house, you have an hour to do so, you know that you're free within that hour. It frees your mind from thinking of everything else that you have to get done. You know that for this time being, you're free to clean your house in whatever way that means, right? It's a very simple example, but think about that. Structure creates freedom. You have to be disciplined to create that structure, okay? You increase others' freedom with your ability to be self-disciplined. How? By setting boundaries, right? If we're talking about time structure with, with uh, tasks that need to be done at home, think about it in the sense of relationships, of when you now set boundaries for loved ones or your family or your friends who then know how to operate with you. That way there's no confusion. They're not, they're not wondering how long they have you for, when you're, you'll be leaving, what they can say, what they can't say to you. It creates a freedom because now there's a structure in which you can freely operate within. Trust me, trust me on that. And the more you, uh, you hold to your discipline with setting those boundaries, with establishing those values for yourself and solidifying that through your relationships, you're gonna increase your freedom with those relationships as well. So not only does discipline increase your freedom and the freedom of those around you, but yeah, I guess just in general, that it increases not only your personal freedom, but the freedom of the relationships that you're involved in. And lastly, because this is short, this is quick, right? Like I, I don't wanna take up a bunch of your time. I just want you to remember that your discipline is going to directly impact your ability to be free, your ability to have the freedoms that you want. You want more time, you have to be disciplined in structuring that the priorities that will free up your time because you're able to accomplish everything that you need, right? It's the same thing in your health, fitness, what have you. If you want to be 
uh, more free in your consciousness about how you look. You have to be more structured, more disciplined in how you eat, how you move. It makes sense and it bleeds into every aspect of your life. Your discipline, your level of self-discipline is directly correlated to your ability to sustain and increase your freedom. Okay, this is a day of remembrance. This is a day of really taking to heart the sacrifices that have been made in order for you to be free in the United States. But I want you to remember, ultimately, that you need to be grateful for those sacrifices and you need to honor those sacrifices that have been made for your freedom by increasing your ability to maintain your discipline to make the most out of yourself. Because when you make the most out of yourself, you're able to produce the most for others. So keep your discipline strong, keep your gratitude high, and remember those who have sacrificed for your ability to be free. Your level of self-discipline is directly correlated to the level of freedom that you will experience. I hope that message resonates with you and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn on those post notifications so you know when I'm coming back with another video. And just make sure that you're staying in tune with your search and your ability to execute on your self-development and improvement. That's my aim, that's one of my highest values and that's what I aim to communicate through this YouTube channel and really every platform that I have in offering you value and insights and perspectives to really help you take your mental, physical, all of your, your wellness to the next level. That's all I have for you for now. If you felt that message was something that really helped you out, feel free to share it with a friend who you think will gain some value from it too. I'm sure that it's always a good reminder. I certainly need that reminder myself. So when I say it to you, anything I say to you is really something that I also need to hear. Wherever this video finds you, I hope it's helped you out and I hope you have a great rest of your day. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.